Jay James Stone and you're watching Cooking Stone. Today's recipe is going to be a garden burger, a veggie burger, whatever you want to call it. It's a meatless burger. It's going to be great though. It's made with butternut squash, black beans, quinoa. It's super spicy and really big on flavor. I think you're going to love it. So this butternut squash veggie burger includes, of course, butternut squash, but we're also going to use black beans. And you don't have to actually throw away your um, seeds from the butternut squash. You can actually toast them or fry them. So I fried these up. I'm going to include them in the burger. We're going to have some cilantro, some chopped pistachios, onions, quinoa, uh, some breadcrumbs, and some serrano chilies. Also spices such as chili powder and some garlic. And I think you're really going to like these. So the key to making a good veggie burger is you don't want it to have too much moisture. You want just enough moisture for it to stick together, but not so much that it falls apart when frying. So let's get started. Let's first add in our butternut squash. And you can use a potato masher or whatever to mash this up, but I'm just going to use a large fork. So using this serving fork, I'm just going to mash up the butternut squash. Now I'm going to add in rinsed black beans and I'm going to mash those in too. Now I'm going to fold in my quinoa. And I just like having all the texture in that a veggie burger can have. So I try to keep it pretty lightly mixed. This is just personal preference. You could have mashed the beans beforehand, you know, so it's really, really mixed in there. But I, I like that texture. Next, I'm going to fold in the chopped pistachios. Once again, I'm just loosely mixing this together to keep the texture because it's lovely. Now I'm going to add in the serrano chili onions and garlic, which I just lightly sauteed just enough to kind of get them to sweat a little bit. So the flavor gets in there, but I don't want them to release all of their liquid. Now I'm going to add my chopped cilantro and stir that in. I know I keep saying this, but as you can see, I'm just really keeping it light here. Let me go ahead and add in my spices, some chili powder. Let's go ahead and mix those in. I do those last because I don't, as I said, I don't want everything to be so overly well mixed. And this way you kind of get this swirl of different flavors throughout the burger, which I like. And now I'm going to add in the fried butternut squash seeds. Like I said, you do not have to throw these away. These things are really tasty. Well, what isn't tasty fried, but you know, if you roast them just like you would pumpkin seeds and you can add them to almost any butternut squash dish and they just add a little bit of crunch. They're perfect as a soup topping. So don't get rid of them. Use them. We don't like food waste here at Cooking Stone. So then you just want to take that mixture and form it into patties. If you're anything like me, uh, which is sort of anal retentive, you can use a biscuit cutter to kind of give them that nice hamburger-y, is that even a word, shape. Um, just kind of use it to shape them. And then they come out looking gorgeous. Then I just fry them up in a pan with a little bit of olive oil and serve them with avocado, maybe some cheese. Enjoy.